Hey YouTube, this is going to be my controversial parenting tag. Um, I've seen a couple of people do this tag and I actually like this tag, so I'm going to do one. Um, the first question is pro-life or pro-choice? Pro um, me, honestly, I think you should be able to like choose you know, how you want to live your life. So I'm going to go with pro-choice. Um, baby, second question, baby wearing. Um, I have one of those. I really don't. Yay! High five. Um, I really don't. I buddy. <laughs> um, I really don't use it unless I'm out, like somewhere, which I haven't really been out far. Go eat your ice cream, which I haven't really been um out anywhere. Um. I guess I do need one because I'm constantly holding him or whatever. So I'm not against baby wearing. I mean, you know, you held your baby for nine months, so they're used to being held and everything like that. So I guess, yeah, I'm. If you baby wear, I mean, hey. Um, the third question is circumcision. Um, I have a daughter and then I had a son and yes I did get him circumcised. Um, everybody's view on that is different. Me, I just, I think, I don't know. To me it's healthier to have your son circumcised. I mean, not everybody out there is going to agree with me on that, but that's just my opinion and, you know, I chose to get my son circumcised, so, um, adoption, I do agree with adoption because, you know, not a lot of people out there can have kids, and it's, it's great to allow them to adopt, um, would I ever adopt, I'm not sure, like, if I couldn't have kids, then that would have been my next option, I wouldn't do that, um, in vitro stuff because one that's just way too much money and it's like why go and like you know sometimes it works but then sometimes it doesn't so why go and spend thousands of dollars on something that may or may not work so I mean and it's a whole bunch of kids out here that in foster homes that need good homes and stuff like that so if I couldn't have kids, I would definitely adopt. <coughs> um, I didn't know what it was. Question number five, baby piercing. Um, I do believe in baby piercing. Just because it's like, I mean, why not get it done? I mean, when they get older, if they choose to take the piercing out, then that's their choice or whatever. But if it's a girl, I think you should get her ear pierced. Of course, don't get it done too early. And a lot of shops won't do the baby piercing until they're about three or four months. Um, when my daughter turned four, wait, I think they told me I was able to get her ear pierced when she turned three, no, four months. They wouldn't do it before she turned four months because she was like so tiny. So, um, so I'm with baby piercing. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, question number six: breast milk versus formula. Um, I'm with breast milk all the way because I mean, I don't know. It's just healthier for the baby. One, the maco the what is it called? Not the word. Um, the first supply of breast milk is basically to help their immune system. Like so, um, breastfed babies like these are just these are I guess not facts, but I guess they would be facts, but they're people's opinions. Um, I read on the internet and everything like that before because I before I chose to breastfeed my daughter. Um, I did the research and everything like that. And they say that breastfed babies um, have a higher IQ. They um, they don't get sick as often. They they learn like they pick up.
faster on things and stuff like that. And, I mean, I know my baby's not, like, a big, big genius, but my daughter is really, really smart. Like, really smart. And, I mean, she just started, she started doing things early, I would say. Um, I can't say that it's because of the breastfeeding, but I'm with breastfeeding. Um, she wouldn't take the bottle anyway, so I didn't have a choice with her. And with TJ, um, I would say he probably had a good, I don't know, like maybe four to five bottles of formula because um, either I wasn't here and they um, and his dad had to feed him or my sister so it's like only when I'm not around or I'm not able to feed what are you doing? nope nope um, and I'm not able to feed him is when he had breast milk but right now I'm working on my milk supply so um, he won't ever have to have formula again, and I do plan on breastfeeding until he turns one. So, um, that being said, I am for breast milk. Not n not saying there's anything wrong with formula fed babies. Like, you know, if some women, they just want, some women are just against breastfeeding because they say their boobs are going to sag, but, and it's okay. But in reality, like, your boobs are going to sag anyway because um, during the month of pregnancy, like, they fill up and stuff like that. Of course, they don't leak milk, but they do fill up. And once you choose not to breastfeed, they're going to go back down and they're going to kind of shrink a little bit. So it's really, I don't know, it's like a really lose-lose situation, I guess you could say. Um... So question number seven, do you believe in spanking? I am not against it. Um, with the belt, as far as that, I don't, I don't use the belt. Um, I will pop my daughter because, you know, there's nothing wrong with spanking or whatever. I don't think anything's wrong with it. I didn't really get whooped when I was growing up, but I did get popped and stuff like that. And I turned out just fine, so I don't think anything is wrong with spanking your child. Um, it's okay. Question number eight, co-sleeping. Do you believe in that? Yes, I do. Um, I'm very safe when I co-sleep, so I don't know. Most people say don't do that because it's very dangerous which it very it is it's really really dangerous but um i co-sleep um i co-sleep when he refuses to sleep in his bed i did co-sleep with my daughter as well like she she just started off just not wanting to sleep in her bed he sleeps in his bed though, like during the day, if he takes a nap or whatever, I'll put him in his bed. So I have no problem with that, I just, um, sometimes at night he sleeps in my bed with me. Um, question number nine, would you do home, school, public, private, or charter school? Um, public school, I went to public school. Homeschooling, I'm so against homeschooling. Um, because your child, okay, I can see if your child is in high school and your child's like, okay, mom, I want to be homeschool. I just don't want to deal with people anymore and I want to stay home. Okay, that's fine. But when your child is in kindergarten and stuff like that, your child needs to be interacting with other children so that they're not up your butt or up an older sibling's butt acting all grown and stuff. Like, no, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not saying anything is wrong with homeschooling, but my daughter won't be homeschooled. She'll be public school. He'll be public school. Um, private school, that's another is if they were to ask to go to private school. But in charter school, I just don't know. Um, number 10, vaccinations. I am for vaccinations. Um, again, they help your child's immune system, 
help fight off diseases and stuff like that. So I'm all for vaccinations. The only thing I do not get or my kids do not get is the flu shot. I don't, mm -mm. because to me that shot, it makes you get sick to see if your body can fight it off. So I just, I refuse that shot every time. But everything else my kids get. Um, question number 11, medicating your child. Um, I do give my kids medicine. Of course, he can't have medicine because he's too little. But my daughter, like, if she's running a fever, I'll give her children's Tylenol. Um, I, when she was little and she ran a fever, like, before she couldn't take medicine or whatever, I would try, like, little home remedies, like, taking cold towels and, um, wiping her body down. I did try the, um, putting her in the tub, but the pediatrician said that is a big no-no. So whoever out there has ever tried that, don't ever do that. They said that, um, putting them, if they're, if they have a temperature and you put them into cold water, you can make their temperature drop too fast, and you don't want to do that. You want it to gradually go down. So don't, don't ever try that. Um, so I'm all for medicating. Um, I wouldn't say just keep medicating, keep medicating. I would see, like, you know, it only takes about, if she's sick, sick, then she'll probably take medicine maybe three times while she's sick because she only gets hot, like, if during the night. Like, she'll run a fever at night, but during the day she's fine. Um, number 12, cloth diapers versus disposables um my daughter was all disposable he is disposable i do want to try cloth diapering um i see so many videos on here about cloth diapering that made me want to try it so i'm going to give it a try um question number 13 quiet out method cio uh i don't i don't do that. I don't believe in that. If my baby is crying, I'm going to pick my baby up because that is their way of communicating to us. Like, I mean, sometimes, like for instance, if I'm driving and he's crying or she's crying, obviously there's nothing I could do and they would have to cry it out or whatever. Stop it. No, no. They would have to cry it out. But if I can pick my baby up and stop my baby from crying, then I'm going to do just that. And I think that is it. So, um, that's my opinion on parenting, and I tagged you to do this video. Alright, bye YouTube!